So uh, let me explain you the task for the next lab. Uh, you essentially have to write two programs. Uh, one is an uh, ALP for average of n numbers, uh, and the other is to generate an uh, Fibonacci series. Okay. Uh, so uh, for the first one is to find the average of uh, n numbers. Uh, find the Fibonacci series. Okay, these are the two problem statements which is to be done. So we know what is an average is. It, it is the uh, sum of all the numbers divided by the total number of uh, numbers in the series. Okay, so this is the uh, formula. Okay, so this is a kind of pseudo code in which you know, all the data is not available. So you need to uh, fill up these data and uh, complete the code and do the uh, simulation and verify your results. Okay. Uh, so uh, in this, uh, if I uh, explain you a little bit, uh, you are initial uh, initializing AX register with an, uh, zero zero. So uh, SI is the uh, starting point of the uh, uh, data uh, offset address where the data is going to begin okay a series of data so in this program you need to uh, feed in these data uh, uh, into the memory location so that part is not written here so that we have learned in the theory class and in the last lab also how to uh, feed in the series of data right so uh, before uh, originator you need to write that in a, uh, uh, whatever is the series data d1 or you can write you can in fact uh, specify the memory location and uh, put these values into those memory locations okay so please uh, refer to our previous lab these things where we had already uh, fed in the value of the uh, celsius temperature into one memory location right uh, similarly uh, in the theory class uh, we have also learned how to feed in a series of data also right so you can uh, initiate this uh, this you need to initiate um, by putting these numbers into some mem specific memory locations and and 0 3 will be in the uh, first memory location so that memory location needs to be put into SI so that you know okay your number is starting at uh, that memory location okay uh, CX is essentially the total number of uh, numbers which you want to have uh, in this particular case uh, one two there are four numbers which have been taken but uh, you need to demonstrate it by uh, by taking few other numbers also uh, each one of you can try out different uh, combinations and different numbers and uh, so that total number need to be uh, uh, fed here and uh, dx needs to be uh, initiated to uh, zero here and then uh, you add al and si so that initially al is zero so the first number will be added then you increase si di and uh, come compare cx dx so uh, this program is written uh, slightly different uh, you could have uh, without this you can use cx itself as a counter but then just to uh, make you uh, uh, give you a little exposure to you the compare command this program is written here okay so not essentially you have to uh, do it like this right you are increasing dx you, we can use only the cx itself as a counter by using an uh, loop statement right so but this is written slightly in a different manner okay uh, just be, just to give you an uh, an a uh, feel of how the compare function works okay so that is why it is written here so it keeps increasing the value of dx and it will compare with cx as and when they become equal it will jump out of the uh, uh, loop and and once uh, you come out of the loop you divide by uh, cl and then uh, you move it into an uh, destination uh, register right so uh, what should be here uh, you need to uh, specify here so this is the um, kind of uh, rough command which uh, uh, is available here you can try it out with uh, your own uh, different commands also as long as you are able to feed data so you can try out uh, two three methods of of your own and and then you can demonstrate the uh, results okay so is there any doubt with regards to this experiment okay if it's not there then let me explain you the uh, next one mm, uh, okay here are uh, some questions also review questions they are simple what if the accumulator is not initialized to zero uh, what happens obviously uh, if there is uh, some junk value there it is going to get added uh, uh, does it uh, have any effect on the output result if the accumulator is not uh, initialized to zero repeat the problem with five numbers of 16 bit data of your choice okay so uh, this is for an uh, 8 bit data so uh, you can uh, do it for uh, 16 bit so what are the necessary changes you need to do it so you need to uh, fetch the uh, word instead of an uh, 
data so you know you probably you need to uh, increase si and uh, si every time by you know, two because once a data single data, once a word gets transferred si needs to be increased by two so these kind of necessary changes so you can uh, try it out okay so uh, i don't think it will be a problem for you you can you can do this okay so you can uh, do that now the next is going to be an Fibonacci uh, series okay this is the series like and it, it starts with zero and then one and then uh, another one right and there on uh, it is like uh, addition of these two numbers like one one is like it is zero one and then there on it is the addition of the uh, previous two numbers zero and one will give you one one and one will give two 2 and 1 will give you 3, 3 and 2, uh, adding 3 and 2 will give you 5, 5 plus 3 gives 8, uh, uh, 8 plus 5, 13 and so on. So this is the series which we need to uh, generate in uh, and, and then after generation we need to uh, put it into uh, consecutive memory locations. Okay, so this is the program. So this is kind of an, uh, a pseudo code which is given to you. Uh, here uh, we need to move something to uh, uh, ax so maybe uh, 0 0 si is the initial again the initial value where uh, you need to uh, start the series so uh, I don't, you don't have to feed any data like in the uh, because this is a series which needs to be generated so you don't have to uh, feed any data initially into the memory locations mm, uh, and then uh, move the value of an uh, al into uh, this uh, me memory location okay into some memory location here so uh, which is going to be uh, the initial value is going to be uh, 0 itself right uh, and then uh, uh, increase no, uh, ZZ that is going to the next memory location and then now uh, you add AL1 and then again uh, move uh, this to that uh, SI right so uh, probably uh, here it should be SI right okay in zz uh, should represent si here so increase si and then move the data to si right so it is uh, now it is going since you have increased the si here you have moved so the next uh, um, in the next memory location 0 1 uh, will be written right and then you have uh, cx uh, 600h uh, okay uh, so uh, what is this 600 is the total number of uh, uh, series uh, you want right when you're writing a fibonacci number where do you want to stop okay uh, you want the total numbers in this series okay here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 numbers are uh, shown here uh, similarly uh, here you know 600h so those many numbers we require so those many memory locations it would uh, consume okay uh, it this might uh, put the program into a uh, long delay you can write a small number here also right and then you are writing uh, subtract uh, something from uh, uh, 600 so uh, in no no sorry uh, the, this is the memory location in which you are writing the total uh, uh, number of series you require here so it is not it's not going to take an, uh, 600 you can write an, uh, 10 here if you write 10 here uh, like here these 10 numbers will be generated if you write an, uh, 12 here 12 numbers will be generated okay so whatever you write in this memory location so here uh, in the starting of the program you will have to put that value now uh, into this memory location into 600h you need to uh, write the uh, count okay count of the uh, series okay that you need to fill in so there will be one uh, instruction of uh, data here right into this 600h okay now uh, we are uh, subtracting uh, something from uh, cx okay uh, can anybody make a wild guess and uh, why are we subtracting this uh, say say I want an, uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 so I am going to put 10 into 600 edge because I want an, uh, 10 uh, numbers in that series okay but then I am subtracting some something from that 10 here out here so that 10 has come to CX into the counter I am subtracting uh, something from there can some anybody can make a wild guess right uh, so uh, I am going to subtract uh, 2 uh, because uh, two numbers is already uh, uh, because I'm going to make a loop out here uh, two numbers which is the zero and one uh, has already been taken care of here so I subtract in uh, two out here okay uh, and then uh, I move on uh, uh, this is going to be again uh, probably SI and you you move one previous number uh, into AL and then add uh, whatever is there in the 
uh, uh, SI you add it and then you increase the value of the SI again you move that uh, data of EL and then you make a uh, loop out here okay so I, I think and uh, I have almost revealed the entire code but I've given a rough idea uh, now on what is to be uh, done here not necessarily you use the same code okay uh, as long as you generate the series it is okay with me so uh, you should uh, you in fact you should try out uh, different codes and uh, two three codes and uh, find which is in a uh, uh, best which is the uh, best code and a smallest code you can implement that so these are the two uh, codes which you are going to uh, do it and uh, demonstrate it in the next week anybody has got any doubts in how, how to go about doing these two codes uh, i'll share the pdf and the video so in case any doubt you can uh, refer to that so if there are no questions and i will uh, stop it here for today okay thanks